Yeah. Dura, Rabbi Yahuwah, Barak Yahusha. You may not be able to see it, but there's an awakening taking place. Hallelujah. Hey, yuck, sir. <laughs> I know in America they treat you like dirt And we hate our own selves cause we don't know our worth They deprived us of our language and our heritage too One is dead like King Herod, he was killing the Jews For 400 years, oppressing and slave They took us on a slave ship, we thought we were saved And they treat us like some animals we sold in the trade And we dying so young, never see old age We just lost and confused, so we showing our rage Property of poverty, low jobs, low wage So many black men lacking motherly love We've been taught to hate our skin and we're unworthy of love don't tell me that my heritage really don't matter and the bible said in the nations we would be scattered if we prayed to yahuwah we was beaten and battered forced to worship jesus christ where the heathens are gathered yahuwah loves his children and he waking his people returning to commandments and forsaken all evil they told us we were slaves never told us what hebrew the bible is black history your pastor will teach you yeah in 1619 our ancestors arrived here in america formerly jamestown and the 400 year prophecy is up. 1619 to 2019 is 400 years. I woke up in 2019. Very interesting how the awakening really started happening right before the so-called pandemic. If your ancestors were in the transatlantic slave trade, you are of the bloodline of the tribe of Yahudah. Some of you may know of it as Judah. Now, not all blacks are Yahudah because some of them are descendants of Ham. But why do you think history is so limited prior to slavery when it comes to Negroes in this country? I've done the research, I've read historical documents preceding the 16th century that confirms this. The Book of Jubilees 2326 says, And in those days the children shall begin to study the laws and seek the commandments and return to the path of righteousness. This is exactly what's happening right now. And this isn't just Yahudah. This is all 12 tribes. Native Americans, Hispanics, and Negroes are the children of Yasharal. And it's our job to spread the Basura of Yahusha, known as the Brihit Hadasha, or the Renewed Covenant, to all Gentile nations of which you are scattered. That's one of the reasons the Most High scattered you in the first place. Aside from our ancestors and their disobedience to the Turah, or the Law of Yahuwah, mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. We are chosen to spread the message of redemption and be a light to the Gentiles. We must let go of racism, hatred, self-loathing, and anti-Edomite rhetoric. I'm not invalidating your pain and struggles, and neither is Yahuwah. But there are many Gentiles who have embraced Yahuwah's laws and are accepted by Yahuwah. If they are keeping his laws, embrace them, love them, accept them. They are your brothers and sisters in Yahusha. The Most High Yahuwah put it on my heart to make this album with a sense of urgency to wake up my people of all 12 tribes, as well as the grafted in Gentiles, because the 400 years is up and judgment has already started here in America and all other nations. I pray this album is a baraka or a blessing to all who will listen. I love you all. Shalom. Hey, Yuck, sir. <laughs>